guys, bienvenidos otra vez a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you guys are new, yo soy Lali La Huera. And welcome to my channel, guys. Sorry, I look like this. Si se asustan, perdón. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of part of the video. But, um, oh my god, guys. I haven't been here in a while, but a little bit over a month. Yeah, it's been hectic. Um, But if, I, if you guys want me to go into more detail with that, just let me know. And I will explain to you guys why I haven't been around here on my channel but I'm back and I'm gonna be back for a while because um I'm really gonna try to stay really focused and really put a lot of work into this content for you guys because I know I have a lot of new subscribers and a lot of you guys have been requesting specific videos and for me to post more videos and yeah like I said I am back and I'm really really gonna try to um stay really active for the content and for you guys because you guys support me and you guys um you guys always are there and wanting more videos, which I'm so happy about. Um, <laughs> and that being said, so for today's video, I have a get ready with me slash Q&A. Uh, I did ask you guys to ask me a couple questions on Instagram and I'm going to be answering a couple of them. Um, you guys are going to get ready with me. Today is, today is Monday. Um, I was going to film this video on Saturday, but I didn't get a chance to because my family um, was throwing my sister a little party for her and we were kind of in a rush and I had just gotten out of work so it was just like I had to get ready like this and my family was already here and I was still getting ready so I, I couldn't just film the video so I'm gonna do it today um right now it's currently 10 43 and I have class at 12 30 so I'm gonna get ready for class it's gonna be kind of like an everyday look um type simple um um simple look um but yeah guys and I have a surprise for you guys at the end of the video so if you guys want to um know what that surprise is and go ahead and watch the whole video the entire video don't just skip because that's cheating <laughs> but if you guys want to turn out if you guys want to see how the look turns out my everyday look then go ahead and stick around and watch the video okay guys almost i'm bizarre because i look ugly <laughs> okay guys sorry if i look so weird oh my god i have never done this before but I, um, I already started my eyebrows because it just takes a long, well not a long time but it's a complicated like uh, it just frustrates me to do my eyebrows because I want them to come out good but um oh and BTW before I even begin explaining I am not a makeup artist I do not consider myself a good make makeup person who does makeup but this is kind of just me and how I do my makeup and stuff um so yeah no judgment because I'm not gonna makeup anyway so the product that I use for my eyebrows is the Anastasia Pomade and I'm in the shade medium brown because I have dark hair. But um, yeah, I just start from the bottom and then just fill and do the top and then clean it up with concealer and set it with powder. Um, so I always start with my eyebrows first. Oh my god. I don't know what they're doing outside. They're doing something. So if you guys hear background noise, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay guys, so yeah, this is the product I use for my eyebrows. Um, and then after my eyebrows, if I'm doing a little bit of shadow, I'll do some shadow. Um, today I'll just do a little simple, simple shadow because I don't really do my eyeshadow unless I'm like really going out somewhere. Um, and even then I don't really use it because I, I put on lashes. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use this Morphe palette. It's the 91. So it just looks like this. It's a little simple like nude palette. Um, and I just use like mostly like 3C colors. I really don't use these. And I just opened it. I got it a while ago but I never used it. And I was like why not open it. So we're going to use this palette. Um, and I'm just going to use like. I like using the brushes that I get in the palettes. Um, this one came from the Anastasia palette. But yeah I use other brushes. But this one I'll use. And I'm going to use this color right here. It's just like a really light nude color. Um, and then I'm just going to put that like on the top of my lid. Like so. And then I'm going to just do that to my other eye. It's just like a nude color. Like it's not that like noticeable or anything. It's just kind of like to set everything. Um... I'm going to start answering some of the questions I got. Um, <clears throat> I only got a few. Didn't get too many this time. Um, which happens in that it's okay. No problem. 
Okay, so I kind of just um, dip it in the color like twice just so it can show up a little bit more just because it is a light, super light color. And then I'm going to take this brush. It was a Morphe brush, but it kind of wore out what it, number brush it was. So just blend it and blend it and blend it. Guys, I've never shown myself like this in camera, so I am really sorry if se asustan porque me miro muy fea. Oh my god. Alright. So then that's that, and then I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this darker one to just kind of like do the same thing and fill the bottom of my other lid, but I'll use a different brush for that. I'm just gonna do that. Do the same on my other eye. So what I kind of did is I just laid this this like brownish color um, onto my lid um, just to give it more of a color and that's it that's my eyeshadow for today um, it's just to give it some color some brown like nude color um, and then I'm gonna put some on the bottom when I'm done but yeah it's just a simple like like super super simple like eye look um, just because it's a I'm not really doing anything today besides school and homework and other like little errands I have to do. Um, but yeah, that is it. Um, if you guys ever want to see like a more dramatic look that I do, I'll be more than happy to film that for you guys. Um, so that is that. And the next thing I do is my foundation. So the foundation that I use is this, is the Naked naked stay um the stay naked foundation um i've always had a really rough time trying to look for a foundation because i'm so like white <laughs> and um i like a full coverage but not too full coverage foundation and when i tried this one i loved it so i'm gonna put my foundation on and then i'll start with the questions and i just use a sponge too a morphe sponge to put it on foundation um so yeah guys this is kind of how it looks it might look off setting like the lighting might look kind of weird on camera but <sighs> let's start answering some of these questions so let's go to my instagram so the first question i got or one of the questions i got was by a underscore santana 99 Hey, bro. What's this? Oh, she asked, what's the best skincare product you've used? So, um, all the skincare products that I have used in the past have actually been a pretty big fail because, I don't know, I feel like everyone's skin is, like, different and some skin is more sensitive than others. Um, but, um... The best skincare product that I have used is, um, well, I don't know if it's a skincare. I mean, it is skincare because it's a, obviously it's a product, but it's a face wash and I don't know the name of it and I don't have it right now because I literally just ran out, but I'm going to put a picture of it right here or right here or up there or down here or wherever. I'm going to put a picture of it so that way you know which one I use and it's really good. I use it in the morning and at night. Um... And I do use like moisture moisturizer to to help my skin out because sometimes it does get dry. Um, but that's literally the only skincare product I use. So yeah, I'll put it right here. Right here. So now I'm just putting concealer on because 
design bags are not gonna fix themselves. Y así me voy. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit again to help. And my camera's gonna die. <sighs> Okay guys, so my camera kind of died, so I had to turn it up again, um, and I went ahead to do, um, I put mascara on my lashes, and the mascara I use is the Maybelline ones, um, these are actually one of my favorite mascaras, and they're a drugstore brand, but they're really good, and I like it, I oh, use, um, but yeah, these are the ones I use, and then I just went ahead, and I, oh yeah, I still finished my concealer, and I sat, I sat, I sat, I sat, I put powder on my face and I had to set it um and I said I use I use a lot of drugstore makeup brands because they're actually a lot better than the more expensive ones and I like to save money because who does it but anyways I use the Maybelline fit me um powder it's a fresh powder and I actually use um a beauty blender to set my powder like this um just because I don't know I feel like I started doing this last year and I noticed that it sets a lot better and it makes your skin look smoother. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's just how I set it and I actually really like how it comes out. Um, and I put mascara on and I put a little bit of brown like um, eyeshadow underneath my um, on my waterline. Um, just to kind of open up the eye and make it more colorful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup. Um, I need the bronzer um, blush and then I'm going to put highlight and then just do my lips. Um, so I use the the Hula Benefit bronzer. I really like this bronzer. It is so good. And I use the mini one because the mini one actually goes a long way and it's a lot cheaper than the big one. But yeah, and I use this brush that I got from a makeup show a while ago. But yeah, I'm going to use it and put it on like so. I tried to put in a bronzer but not like a crap ton because I'm like super white and I need some color in my face. If not, voy a mirar como un fantasma. Con la cara bien blanca. And then I put some on my forehead as well just kind of like the top corners right here my hair is kind of already done I usually only brush it if it's still wavy um, I, I have gotten questions about how do I curl my hair and I just straighten it um, I kind of straighten it at the top because just to like flatten it out and then I use a wand to curl my hair and then I brush out the curls because I don't like my curls being really tight um, um, that's just like my preference on how I want my hair. Um, so, and then I brush them out and then they kind of come out like this wavy, messy, curly hair. And then I use the Balm Cosmetics for the blush. It's a really nice brush. Blush, but it's kind of beaten and it's broken. If you guys can see right here. Um, but I need to go buy a new one. So, and then I just use this Morphe Y4 brush. And I just kind of pat it on my cheek. Like I said guys, otra vez les vuelvo a, a decir que yo no soy una persona que hace el maquillaje muy bien porque yo nomás me lo hago cuando salgo o cuando voy a, las, a la tienda, a la escuela o... A veces no, no, me hago, no me arreglo así tanto para ir a la escuela Porque no voy a ir a la escuela Y no tengo que verme así tan arreglada a la escuela Todo el tiempo Pero a veces si me levanto con tiempo Si me arreglo Pero, ¿para qué? En la escuela Vamos a, a estudiar y aprender No para hacer otras cosas But yeah um, And I put quite a bit of a lot of brush Because I like it And... <coughs> Like I said again, I'm white. I'm pale. So that's that. And then I'm going to use this little mini. It was the Becca highlighter. I had it in a big one, but I don't know what happened to it. So then I used this 
um, Morphe Y14 brush and I like to wet it sometimes because it just gets the blush, I mean not the blush, the highlight a lot better. Um, and then I put it on like so. And then I put some on the tip of my nose and then just a little bit on the top. On my cupid bow, on my lip, on my chin. <laughs> just so I don't look bad. And I do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And then whatever is left, I can just put it all over. Not all over, but in some spots. And then, that's my face. And I'm going to set it, and I'm going to use this setting spray it's a morphe setting spray you can find it Ulta or morphe or wherever um yeah i love this setting spray it's only 12 bucks and it's cheap it's good Whew. i'm just gonna let that dry a little bit and then i'm gonna put my lipstick So I like using a lot of matte lipsticks because they just stay on all day and they don't like get over anything like when you're drinking stuff or like on a cup. Um, and the one I use is the Kat Von D lipsticks. Her matte lipsticks are my favorite. Um, I love all of them although they're all 20 bucks each. Which is a little pricey for me. But these last forever like they last for a while um and the, this is like my go-to like every time i go out or somewhere unless i use the red lipstick i'll use the red one but this is like my go-to one and it's called bow and narrow and it's like brown nudish so this is my go-to guys i recommend it so i went ahead and did the lipstick off camera um and this is how it came out i really like this lipstick um and then i did put a little bit oh i have eyelash oh I did um, go ahead and put a little bit of glitter in the inner corner of my eyes just to kind of pop out my eyes because just to do it and be extra. <laughs> but yeah guys, this is the final look and this is how I do my simple everyday makeup. And I did curl my lashes. I don't really use eyelashes throughout like the week or whatever. I only use them if I'm going to go out. Um, my eyelashes are pretty long um, so when I curl them, they look fine to me. It doesn't really matter. But yeah. This is how I do my makeup and how I get ready every day. Not every day, but sometimes, most of the time. Um, but yeah, guys, I did get sidetracked off the questions, so I'm going to finish answering those questions for you guys. Alright, guys. <laughs> Enough of me being dumb. I'm going to put my mirror over here. And I'm going to finish answering the questions for you guys. So the next question was from Kim underscore Avila underscore um, and her question was her question was you have such a nice body how do you do it do you work out <laughs> girl thank you for the compliment but <laughs> I don't have a nice body in my opinion um so uh I don't know how I do it. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I used to work out a lot, um, a while back. I used to be really active in high school. I did a lot of sports during the summer a lot too. So I was always active and active. I did private self-conditioning and tumbling too as well. So, um, that kind of always just kept my body in shape. Um, so, um, after high school, I let that go. I used to be a gym freak too. I used to go in the morning, at night, all the time. Um, me and my mom pushed each other to go, but we kind of just kind of lost that. Being in work and college and stuff kind of just drains me, and I feel like super tired, and I don't have motivation to go to the gym anymore. Um, so no, I don't work out, although I do really wish to um, um, kind of work on that and start being more active a lot. Um, but I I don't know. The motivation's lacking on that, but um so no i don't work out i a month ago i did do a clean uh like like a cleansing of my body with like juices for like 12 days for 12 days straight 
um i only did like it was like juices in the like for breakfast lunch and dinner oh my god it just kind of it drains you and it definitely does it's really hard to like not eat um you can eat like little snacks in between but it's mostly just the juices um but yeah me and my dad did that um that did um it did i did lose like a couple like about 10 pounds i would say and it did definitely clean up my system as well so that really helped and i feel like that just kind of kept my body in shape um my body's not in shape actually <laughs> um i'm just i don't know i think i have like my metabolism is still pretty good um which i don't gain much weight when i eat a lot even though i do eat a lot and those people who know me si me conocen ustedes saben que yo como but <clears throat> No, I don't work out. I wish to, and I really want to push myself to do that again. Um, but thank you for the couple bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's... I don't really have a way of how I do it. Although I wish I did, and I probably should start doing something to keep my body in shape. Um, but the next question is from Miriam Rodriguez with a bunch of Z's. <laughs> Hi, girl. ¿Cómo estás? Um... And she said, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? BTW, I love you. I love you too. Pero, um, I don't know if I've answered this question before. But if I have, if I haven't, well, um, so what made me want to start my YouTube channel was because, like I've said before, um, in high school I used to be really active. I used to be involved in a lot. I, I was part of a dance team outside of school. And then I was part of another dance team outside of school after I left the first one um so i was always busy active and everything but once i started college i kind of let everything go um so i wasn't dancing i wasn't in sports anymore i wasn't involved anymore in anything um which kind of sucked and made me kind of like put down a little bit because i was doing all i was doing was going to school and working a lot so i was like I don't know I like I've always watched YouTube for like forever and YouTube is like my my entertainment spot so now I like all the videos I watch and all the like TV and stuff that I need to watch is YouTube um so so what made me first start is I'm I'm like a huge fan of like going out to the violins having fun dancing I love dancing dancing has always been one of the most favorite things I've ever loved to do um and I was I would go to the ranchos I would go to like Bailes. I would go to Mexico and everything. I would travel with my family. Um, we would do like little fun things here and there during the weekend. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where. Like I started watching a lot more uh, Violet vlogs and more vlogging videos. And I like really loved and I love enjoying. I enjoy watching them. And I don't know. It just kind of gave me the idea. Well, what if I start a YouTube channel? But I didn't know if I should or if I shouldn't because I didn't really have that confidence to start talking in front of a camera and more so an audience like you guys. Um, so, so I, I was like, well, I'm going to get a camera and see, I'm going to start doing it, taking it and trying to just vlog or whatever, but it wasn't anything serious until I actually started to enjoy it a lot more. Um, so besides everything, I felt like YouTube has become my hobby and part of that extra thing that I do because I felt like I needed to do something besides just work at school. So I wanted to share like my life experience with the vlogs and the Mex being Mexican and going out to the bailes and being like showing you guys my family, me traveling, um, which I have a vlog coming soon. I'll be vlogging when I'm in Mexico. <coughs> so just stuff like that. So that's kind of, I wanted to keep busy and YouTube is something that I do now as a hobby, which is, I love it. It's so much fun. But yeah, that's kind of why I started YouTube. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> I don't know, I dragged it for too long. Pero... The last question is by Giselle Varela. Girl, I love you. You, I just gotta say that I love Giselle. She's, if you guys don't know Giselle, she is my best friend. I brought her on um, a couple of videos. Um, but yeah, hi amiga. Um, where she said, "How do you see yourself in ten years from now?" Oi, oi, oi. Um. So. I think I've answered this question before. Where do I see myself in 10 years from now? Okay, so in 10 years from now, I'll probably be like 20 something, my late 20s, 29. Um, so I definitely do see myself with my full career, like, like already started and everything. I would hope to be done with school, which I will definitely be done with school. I don't want to continue to just go past that age. 
Um, I, I do plan to have a family by that time. Um, but I, with this question I always get, or if I ask this question, I don't really expect an answer because I have goals and aspirations and like stuff where I want to be at that age in life, but I don't know what always is going to happen. Um, I'm like the type of person, cosas pasan por una razón, or, or like the question that God has our future like planned for us or whatever. Um, but the things that I do see myself is I, I want to have my career already started. I want to have a family and just settle down and everything. Um, during my 20s, I do plan to kind of just do me and like travel and stuff. But by that, in 10 years from now, I do want to be settled down and um, just kind of just like do like be a grown up and just have everything like just done and settled down. Have my own house and all that stuff. Um, so that's kind of where I see myself in 10 years. Um, but yeah, I don't have like a whole like plan. This is what I want and everything. But um, las cosas pasan, you know? Okay, so it's almost time for me to go to school because Nadia tiene que ir a estudiar y tiene que ir a la escuela. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, it is kind of a different video because I never do makeup videos or sit down with me videos because I'm not a makeup artist. But it's what you guys want. Y lo que quieran, les voy a traer. Así es que, before I end this video, I do want to say that we are a 500 past 500 subscriber. So what that means is that I promised you a giveaway and I'm going to give you a giveaway. Um, so I don't have the giveaway like done and shot 100%, but once I do, I will put it in here once I edit the video. Um, so I do have a couple of rules for the giveaway. Um, so... So this is the giveaway so um what you guys have to do to enter the giveaway is of course you have to be subscribed to my channel um and i will know if you're subscribed to my channel or if you're only subscribed to my channel for this giveaway así es que no me hagan trampa amigas pero um so yes you must be subscribed to my channel and you must follow me on instagram um you have to if you want to enter the giveaway enter um comment down below your instagram handle or like your instagram username so i know that you guys are following me on instagram um <clears throat> i will post a picture on my instagram like once i have the layout and everything of the giveaway done for you guys um and i will also post the rules on there so you guys will know it's the but yeah don't forget um to comment your um username down below so i know you're followed to my instagram and that that username is going to enter you to the giveaway and excuse me and also on my Instagram picture, I will let you guys know what day um, I'm announcing the giveaway winner. Oh my god, no sé por qué no puedo hablar. Es que, oh, I know, I'm running out of air. Este, but yeah guys, so you guys must be subscribed to my channel and you guys must follow me on Instagram and make sure to comment your username down below so you know it's not going to enter you in the giveaway. Um, and then, it's going to be picked randomly, so it's... So it's all fair. Um, so yeah, um, I will have it posted on my Instagram with the rules and everything to remind you guys of what you guys have to do to enter the giveaway. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'm happy, super, super happy that I'm finally posting again because ugh, such a drag with school. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more videos of me, of oh, the Carita. <laughs> Just go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up um, And yeah guys, los veo en el próximo video. Bye